well. Look at this weather, and it is perfect weather to be able to go up Blackpool Tower, isn't it? And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. Not only that, we're going to be taking you around the building and inside the ballroom as well. Let's take a look at what 2022 has to offer at the Blackpool Tower. to the Blackpool Tower itself. Now there is only one main entrance to this building at the moment which is via the promenade. Notoriously known for two entrances which is the one by Bank Hay Street. So that is the only entrance for the dungeons which is just here to the side of me. In fact the exit of this ride or attraction is just here which is the bar which then that takes you into this arcade. Further around is where the entrance to the tower is and all the other attractions. take all those stairs up to level five if you wish or you could take one of these very modern stylish lifts that they've had recently upgraded the level five is what you need for the tower eye Now upon entering level 5, make sure you do have your e-ticket ready, which you should have already purchased before arriving, as you will need to do that before coming to the Blackmore Tower. Make sure you do check out all the offers that they do have too. Now once you go through the uh, ticket section there, you'll then go through to a green screen. This green screen gives you an opportunity to take a photo of yourself and your family, and it looks like you're very high up. After taking that photo, you are going to need these very special glasses, which you'll get to see in a moment what they're for. But before you do that, you get to walk through this very, very special walkthrough. Now this is where one of the best part of the experiences is, other than the tower itself. This is the 4D cinema. Now you do get a little, sh a little uh, guidance show at the start, just to tell you what to expect. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. There's nothing to worry about because it's, it's quite loud, but it's a very good 4D cinema with foam smell effects. It's really hard to explain, but you do need to experience it yourself. Also, this is where you need your glasses. After completing the 4D cinema, then you go on to the next part of the journey, which is called the timeline. This section here tells you all the history from then all the way to now of the Blackpool Tower. days in the summer or at peak this does get quite busy in this area but it does keep you occupied with the information around here especially with these actual tower beams these are part of the Blackpool Tower beams now if you go to the Blackpool Tower Circus you'll notice the four legs of the corners of the circus and the arches they're also part of the tower structure itself and if you ever get the opportunity to go into the VIP viewing area that is housed inside one of the tower legs and then once you've done that you are then ready to proceed to the Tower Eye. Blackpool 
Tower Once you're inside the tower lift, which is one of two, you'll get a very familiar voice. It's not me, but it's someone who has featured on this channel before. Come down there. When we get to the top, you'll be exiting. But once you're at the top and those lift doors open, you're greeted by one of the best views you'll see in Blackpool. Like I just said, you get some absolute amazing views up here. So we're going to take you for that perimeter walk around the first level of the tower top as we head to the uh, south side of the tower overlooking Blackpool South. Look at the weather today, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous that way, that's the south direction. You can see the Pleasure Beach in the far distance. You can in fact see North Wales on a very clear day, but it doesn't look like you can today. You can see Southport quite clear as well. Now you can walk all the way around to the other side. This is the enclosed bit, so if it is raining, you can still come up here and keep dry as well. As we look east, over towards the Pennines there, a bit misty over there as you can see, if you see Blackpool Town Centre, and there's the Winter Gardens just in that direction there. And if you're not very good with heights, then this is probably not for you, but hopefully you'll be able to see what you can see in this video from up here and this is into the north direction there. You can see the Pennines up in the distance there and North Pier just down below here. And on a very, very, very clear day, you can see the Isle of Man in this very direction across there. And you, if you watch the 4D cinema, you can get to see parts of the reason why it appears in the 4D cinema. For example, you'll see the TT Isle of Man races appear in it. Uh, the wind turbines, they all feature because you can see it from up here. But of course, there's a lot of history in that 4D cinema too. Of course, we're not here just to show you from the inside level, are we? No, we're going to take you up to the next level. In fact, there's another two levels up here. And on very calm days, should we say, and not windy, they are open. Now, if it's windy or very wet, they do close this area off. But this is one of two external areas. Are you ready to go higher? Because there is one more level to go up to show you the very, very top of Blackpool Tower. And it's just through this door here. We are now 401 feet above the Blackpool coastline. Of course, the views are slightly restricted due to the netting, which is very understandable, of course. But don't you get a magnificent view up here and on a day like this it's absolutely perfect which is of course nice and calm and sunny but on a very very clear day which you do occasionally get it's very very clear and you can see some of the uh, further coastlines you can see the north welsh coast over on the south you can see Isle of man and even further into the lakes now i did mention this was as high as you could go well 
I might have told a little lie because you can go one step higher. Feels like a long time ago since I did this. So uh, this is the highest level up as you can go just below the crow's nest as they call it. And um, yeah, wow, look at these views. Now in theory, you can actually go higher than this point, which is this spiral staircase, but of course not to the public, which is a shame because it even goes higher, which is uh, gets more daunting as you get up there. And if you was ever going to change that flag, that would be a scary thing to do. Of course, there will be time where you will need to come back downstairs, of course, and they do have two sets of stairs, one set for going up, one set for going down. So just make sure you're aware of that. And then when you're ready to go back down to the normal level, back to the tower building, use this lift here. When you come back down to the tower building or known as level six you are then greeted by the retail shop and the photo section where the green screen was where you can view your photos from earlier you can then have a look around the retail shop itself to see if there's anything you fancy taking away as a souvenir This is also the place you come to if you want to play dino golf. Now that's not quite the end of the experience just yet because there is another little section to walk through before you're done. Yes, this is the VR room which has had a little update since we last saw it a few years ago. This is the Tower Coaster Blackpool and it is just £3.50 to do. Looks really good and is really good as well. And if you uh, are interested in doing it, you can purchase them from the retail shop just through there. Now, whilst you're here, you can visit the ballroom as well, and I highly suggest you do so, because we're about to take you in there now, as it's so majestic. ballroom one of the most famous ballrooms in the world and um, it is an additional charge to come in here but there's so many different reasons why you might want to come in here because you can spend all day in here you might even want to take advantage dancing on the floor spectating in one of these seats there's afternoon tea here as well or you might just want to take advantage of the really nice hot chocolates
if you're really lucky, you might even get to see the world famous Wurlitzer play, and even elevate from the floor. here at the Blackpool Tower. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did filming that and to be quite honest with you it's been a long time coming as in the three years that I've been doing this it's the first time that I've actually vlogged the Blackpool Tower. Can you actually believe that because I can't but I really enjoyed doing that. Massive thank you to Blackpool Tower and their staff there today for accommodating uh, me whilst I was there. The, the staff there were absolutely incredible there today and I'm not you know being biased about the tower at all because it holds a lot of uh, reasons why I enjoy the tower. But um, seriously, if you're thinking about going, then do do it. But you do need to experience the tower to be able to feel it, if you're honest. If I'm honest with you, uh, simply because the 4D cinema, the ballroom and the tower itself is something you need to actually do. And I don't think that will give that in this vlog as much as you want it to. And of course, you, I didn't show the 4D cinema simply because um, you, you, it's one of those that you just can't really show because it's a 4D cinema. But the effects in there are amazing. Again, something you to experience also just to let you know that filming in there is slightly prohibited in certain places such as the 4d cinema and the ballroom as well so just bear that in mind when you visit there hope you enjoyed this video if you want more details of prices for the blackpool tower make sure you go to their website follow us on social media for updates of what we're doing in blackpool and the surrounding areas of the uk and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos and live streams alike hope you enjoyed this video we'll see you next week